Hi, this is Evangeline Elsa and I'm reporting live from Baikonur. Behind me is the Soyuz spacecraft that will soon take Emirati astronaut Haza Al-Mansouri into space, making him the first Emirati astronaut to enter the International Space Station. This is Janice Ponce de Leon reporting for Gulf News Live from Baikonur Cosmodrome. Just to tell you a bit about the launch sequence using the Soyuz rocket. Right now, Hassa Al-Mansouri is already strapped in his seat along with Russian commander Oleg Skripochka and NASA astronaut Jessica Mir. It's now 5.38 uh, Kazakhstan time or Baikonur time and it would be around uh, 4.38 in the UAE. The crew will be waiting inside the spacecraft for about two hours before liftoff. In Kazakhstan, that will be 6.56, but in the UAE, that will be 5.56 p.m. So as soon as they lift off, the first stage, so this is a three-stage rocket, the first stage will burn off in about 1 minute and 58 seconds, after which it will separate from the rocket, the Soyuz, the Soyuz rocket is a three-stage rocket, giving it three stages of thrust at various points during lift during the flight to the to space. So it takes about one minute and fifty-eight seconds for the first stage to burn up. Following which, it will be jettisoned. But before it, it is ejected, the second stage will burn up. So they use a hot stage technique, wherein they switch on the next stage first before cutting off the engine for the first stage. Now it will take about 8 minutes and 48 minutes for all the three stages to burn up and by then the crew will feel a final jolt before they feel weightless and experience zero gravity. So that means they've reached an altitude of about 210 kilometers and by this time they will have reached a distance of 1,640 kilometers by land. By the time they reach that nine minute mark, you will see the stuffed toys hanging over their heads inside the cockpit floating around. That's, that means they're already in space and the six hour chase to the International Space Station will begin. Docking will take place at midnight in the UAE and there will be another two hour wait to make sure that the air pressure and everything else is, is correct before the hatch will be opened and the new crew members will be allowed in inside the ISS.